I think it's just been the last few years that people are like, that's cool to have something to like, uh, remember my journey by, because obviously it's not very easy for some people. And so they're like, I deserve something to remember this. I am talking today with Sam Feltman and Charlie Hill, who are the owners of a business called Sisters Keepsakes. And they sell a variety of products, uh, one of which is breast milk. Thanks, guys, for taking a few minutes <laughs> today. Yeah, thank you. So tell me about, yeah, this business. What do you guys sell? What's your product or service that you offer to people? So we do keepsake <laughs> jewelry. Um, and it's basically to preserve like those keepsake moments. So we take breast milk and um, preserve it into a powder. And then you can put it in resin and set it in a stone for jewelry. So you can have a ring that had like has your breast milk in it or a necklace or earrings. And we can do ashes. We've done ashes for people. They've set ashes into a resin. So we've set it into a resin stone so you can keep that person close to you. Um, what, what other ones do we have, Sam? I'm trying uh, to think. We can, do, we can do flowers. So like wedding flowers yeah, or flowers. funeral flowers. Uh, you can do hair. And we can do different designs of hair. Like we've done, you can do like a tree of life where you like make the hair look like a tree and then you put little flakes for leaves or you can do hearts. So dog hair, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> pretty yeah. much anything you can think of. We can uh, usually come up with something. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's interesting. Um, so when did you guys open? This summer? Yeah. I did, Yeah. I think we spent the I, summer getting things ready and promoting and and testing out the ways we wanted to actually actually make the stone and making sure we we felt like personally we, we made some and wore them around and made sure we they tested <laughs> well wearing everyday use because a lot of the other rings out there you can't get wet or it'll ruin the breast yes. milk stone and we wanted to come up with a way that you could wear them party every day and get them wet and not have them get ruined how has the response been to this since you opened it, it you said summer so i assume about six months or so how's the yeah. response yeah uh people have really liked it people are really excited to have something local because I, I think it's kind of scary for people to just send their milk off in the mail and, and you never meet the person and you're just trusting them to make something so we've had a really good response people have been happy to find someone local finally Mm -hmm. You know, we did a story about a similar business a few months ago, and this seems to be kind of a new trend that's pretty popular. <laughs> um, it is. <laughs> when, when did this become a yeah. thing? Uh, I feel like it's just been the last few years, because I've even talked yeah. to women that are like, I wish this was around when I had my kids. <laughs> They're like, I would have loved that. So mm -hmm. I think it's just been the last few years that people are like, that's cool to have something to like... Uh, remember my journey by because obviously it's not very easy for some people and so they're like I deserve something <laughs> to remember this so why did you guys decide to start this um oh. I, I wanted a piece of jewelry made and so yes I was looking around and it was kind of the same thing like you're just shipping your milk off to wherever and the turnaround times were like what like six to eight months to a year and mm -hmm. so I, me and Charlie are pretty crafty. So I just spoke with her and I was like, I feel like we could figure this out and make something awesome. <laughs> yeah. And Sam even ordered, Sam ordered from a business and it turned out to be a scam. They, <laughs> yes. They scammed her and she never got a piece of jewelry. And, and so we wondered if other women were, were having the same problem. And the place, this company, there are lots of good companies out there too. But they do have a huge waiting list, several months, and there's no one local. So we did, we wanted to do something for our community. <laughs> Got it. So what's yes. your most popular product? Definitely rings. the breast milk rings. Mm -hmm. Breast milk rings. And it's literally, yeah. like you said, it's jewelry. Like people wear this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the appeal with, with jewelry that's made from breast milk? <laughs> Uh, well, I you think probably just don't... like to. Oh, go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> uh, I mean, you you probably never had a breast milk um, journey yourself, but <laughs> it's a really, it's a, it can be painful and it can be exhausting. You have a lot of hormones that fluctuate during the whole whole journey, and it's I tell you, it's quite the ordeal. <laughs> so, I mean, my I mean, my sister really wanted a piece of jewelry. I didn't know about it until she wanted a piece. 
but she had twins and she had to pump and it was a lot of work for her because her baby was in the NICU for several months. So she wanted a breast milk ring to remember the baby that she saved, the baby she lost and all the babies in the NICU that she helped by pumping. And so I wanted, so that she was one of our first customers. We made her a ring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. Interesting. So it's just a way for them to just kind of remember that time in their life kind of, <laughs> or yes. yes, it's a gift to yourself to remember. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And a lot of women do like to add the hair from your babies, like, or their birth stones. They'll put the birth stones in the ring or like little pieces of their hair from their first haircut. So it's cute. You guys are on social media. You have a Facebook page mm -hmm. or anywhere else on social media. Just Facebook. Uh, yeah, just on really Facebook right now. Yeah, I feel like we posted in the community page and that's all we did. And it just took off. And your customers are, I mean, you mm -hmm. said you focus primarily on local, but do you have customers from all over the country or is it primarily local people? We've it's started to grow all over the country. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it's starting to kind of spread out so that we can, because, I mean, you can just mail us your breast milk and then we can just mail the ring back. So you can, yeah, ship them anywhere. In the long run, um, what's your goal with this business? Do you want to expand eventually and have a permanent location or what's your goal there? I, Go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> well, I mean, we're both, we're both moms of young kids. So we always said that we didn't want to be too, too busy, that, that we didn't have time for our families. Um, so we're moms first and we just want to take it slow. But when our kids are up in school, then I think that then we'd be more open to, to being busier. Got it. So it's kind of a part-time thing right now. Sounds yes. <laughs> well, interesting. It's, it's a, it's a fascinating um, <laughs> business idea. Like I said, I didn't know it was even a thing until just recently. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, anything else you guys want to add about this? I mean, I mean, the breast milk is definitely sorry, the most popular, but I think a close second has been the ashes. I think people have really liked the, to have um, their ashes close to them and have it in a necklace or a ring. And that we also, too, we, like I said, we use the top coat so you can get your ring wet. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've had my ring in the hot tub. I've gardened with it, like cleaned my chicken coop. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, we tried to make rings that you can actually wear them because a lot of companies are like, oh, don't wear your ring. Like, take it off when you shower, take it off when you wash your hands or the stone will, it will eventually, I think, disintegrate away. And so, yeah, we use that top coat and we just, we just top coat everyone. We don't upcharge for that or anything. We just, we just do it because we want them to last. So. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's definitely yeah. something that makes us a little unique. 